Hello everyone, welcome to Analytics with Asmi. To see Power BI interview questions and answers. We will be discussing here the scenario based questions in Power BI. This is a part 6 of this Power BI interview series. Guys, I want to request you that I have started the Telegram channel and the Instagram channel where I post regular job opening for fresher and the experience for the post of data analyst and power bi analyst there i also post the tutorials resources and updates related to power bi so please join the channels link is given in the description box now let's start the video the first scenario based question in power bi is you are a power bi developer working on a project where two developers need to collaborate on the same project Developer A focuses on the data modeling and creating the measures while developer B concentrates on the designing the user interface and visualizations. Both the developer need to work simultaneously on different machines with the same data model. Now how would you enable developer A and developer B to work on the same Power BI report at the same time, ensuring that their changes are synchronized? Answer for this question is, there are multiple approaches to solve this issue, but the one I know is, developer A who is responsible for creating the data model and calculations, import all the required data to create the report. So he saves the file on his machine and publishes the report to the workspace. This creates a new Power BI semantic model in a workspace. Now developer B who is responsible for creating the visualization graphs opens a new Power BI file on his machine. He connected to the Power BI semantic model of the same workspace where developer A publishes the report. Now public developer B save this file on his machine. Developer B now can't see the data view or edit the relationships in the model. He can only create the visualizations based on the existing data model and create majors. Whenever developer A makes changes to his reports, he publishes the updates report to the Power BI service in the same workspace. Now developer B just needs to refresh his report on his machine to get the updates, updated data model and new calculations. Using this approach, both developer can work simultaneously on different aspects of the report, ensuring efficient and synchronized report development. For that, you need to understand that the data set should be in live mode, which is very important. Question number two, you are working on a sales report that was previously scheduled to refresh twice a day, once in the morning, and once in the evening. This report is accessed by sales managers from different regions to help them plan their strategies. However, the sales managers now want to see updated data at an interval of every 15 minutes to plan their strategies more efficiently and achieve better results. Given that you have a Power BI Pro license, how can you modify the report to ensure it updates at 15 minute intervals. Now as per the scenario, if we need 15 minutes refresh times, we need total 96 refreshes to fulfill the requirement. Now it's important to recognize that with the Power BI Pro license, the maximum number of scheduled refresh is limited to 8 times per day. This constraint means we cannot directly schedule an early refresh with a Pro license. Now, Second option is Power BI Premium. Power BI Premium per user license offers 48 refreshes a day, meaning refresh every 30 minutes, but still does not fulfill the client requirement. Now, the workaround for this is to use a Power Automate to create the flow that refreshes the data at the desired frequency and trigger it using a timer. Now, we have to note that this approach requires a separate license for a power automate. So according to this scenario, 96 refresh will be done per day which exceeds the daily limit. Therefore, any additional refresh will fail. Scenario based question is, if you have an Excel file of a 10 MB 
and you load that entire file into a Power BI desktop. Approximately, what will be the size of a resulting PBX file? Will the file size increases or decreases and why? Now you might be thinking that file size would increase or stay the same, but thanks to a VertiPack engine, it actually decreases. So when we import a data in a Power BI, the PBIX file size can be reduced by up to 10 times from the source. This is because in the background, the VertiPack engine compresses the data by finding the pattern and redundancies. Additionally, Power BI also optimizes how the data is stored, further reducing the file size. So this should be the answer. Fourth scenario based question is on row level security. Now question is explain how the row level security works in Power BI. Provide an example of when you might use RLS to control the access to specific data based on user experience. Now you must be having different experience but as per my experience I will answer like this. Low level civic security in Power BI restricts the data access for a given user based on the roles. RLS is configured by creating the roles with the DAX. DAX means data analysis expressions which filters the data that define the access rules. These rules are then assigned to the users within the Power BI service. I will also provide the example. For example, if you have a sales report and we want sales representative to see only their own region, their own sales data. So you can create a role called sales representative role and set the DAX filter such as sales RIP ID is equal to user principal name which is a DAX we can use here and assign this role to the respective sales representative. This ensures that when a sales representative views this report they only see their sales data. So this will be my answer. The last scenario based question, question number 5 is explain the concept of a composite model in Power BI. How you combine the direct query and imported a data sources in a single report model for enhanced performance and flexibility. So the answer should be a composite model in Power BI allows combining the data from both direct query and the imported sources within a single report model. This hybrid approach provides flexibility in data modeling and optimization. So I will give you he here the use case. You can use the imported data for tables that do not require real time updates such as a dimension tables, example product or a date tables. While using the direct query for a large fact tables that need to reflect real time changes such as sales transactions. So this approach balances the performance benefit of importing the data with the real time data access provided by the direct query. The last scenario based question, question number 5 is explain the concept of a composite model in Power BI. How you combine the direct query and imported a data sources in a single report model for enhanced performance and flexibility. So the answer should be a composite model in Power BI allows combining the data from both direct query and the imported sources within a single report model. This hybrid approach provides flexibility in data modeling and optimization. So I will give you he here the use case. You can use the imported data for tables that do not require real time updates such as a dimension tables, example product or a date tables. While using the direct query for a large fact tables that need to reflect real time changes such as sales transactions. So this approach balances the performance benefit of importing the data with the real time data access provided by the direct query. Today we have discussed in this video 5 scenario based question which is frequently asked in a Power BI interview. If you like this video, please give thumbs up and if you have any comments, you can put in a comment box. See you in the next video.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग